Hey y'all, today I'm chatting about something that only a teacher would geek out about, and that is exit tickets. I am asked about them all the time. They're such a fantastic tool for gauging student understanding, and most importantly, helping you improve your teaching. So if you're ready, give this video a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button below so you don't miss out on any of our future videos, and let's dive in and get started. So what exactly are exit tickets? They're a simple but powerful tool that you can use to help assess your students understanding of the math lesson that you taught that day. Imagine them as your ticket to understanding what your students got from that day's lessons. Typically exit tickets are a small slip of paper that include one to four questions over that day's lesson. They're perfect to give at the end of your whole group or your small group lesson. Now, you might be thinking, because I see this all the time, anytime this comes up in my Facebook group, that this looks like one more thing for the teacher to plan or one more set of copies to run off for the week. But I want to tell you why you need to be using exit tickets. They can be a formative assessment that allow you to easily check for your students' understanding and can help you identify teaching points for your small group instruction. Exit tickets can help you quickly gauge your students' comprehension and allow you to adjust your teaching as needed and even help your students reflect on their own learning. After years of requests, I have finally started to create exit tickets that align with my guided math units. They correlate with my units, or they can also be used as a standalone with any curriculum. I'm creating them for first, second, and third grade. Let me break down and show you what each set of exit ticket looks like. Each exit ticket contains one to four problems depending on the skill, and there's also two versions of each skill. There is a section for student self-assessment and they can simply color in an emoji to reflect on their learning. This lets me know how they felt about the lesson that they learned that day. Another bonus to exit tickets is that they can help you form your small groups. You can easily see which students need more support and which need reteaching. You can see which students are on track to mastery and which students are ready for a challenge. Implementing exit tickets into your daily routine should not take up a lot of extra time. Use the last five minutes of your math block to pass them out and use that as a reflection over their learning for that day. Five minutes is really all that it takes. Once your students have turned in their exit tickets, take the time to analyze and reflect on their answers and take note of their feelings about that skill as well. Make notes about how your class is doing overall, which students need more help, which have reached mastery, and which are ready for a challenge. What changes do you need to make in your small groups or your instruction? What teaching points do you want to make sure that you hit and review in your next lesson? They're such a valuable tool. So please don't wait until the end of your math unit to check for student understanding. I recommend using exit tickets at least three times a week to check for understanding of the skill that you're currently focusing on. Use that to collect formative data during your math unit so that you are addressing misconceptions before they might take an end of unit assessment. So there you have it. If you're looking for more information on how to get started with exit tickets, I'm gonna put some helpful links in the description of this video, including a link to our weekly blog post and links to our brand new set of math exit tickets for first, second, and third grade. These align and follow the daily lessons of our guided math units, or they can be used as a standalone as well. I'm gonna drop those links in the description of the video. And if you have any questions, about exit tickets at all, leave me a comment below and I'd be happy to help. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.